Welcome back everybody. In this video we're setting up one of my portable shanties here that I actually built this thing uh, this summer. This was a lazy man pretty much or, uh, plexiglass shell that Daniel had down there at the bow shop that he gave me a good deal on. So I brought it home, I built a platform for it and made it so I can move it around with the forks on the bucket tractor and we're gonna take it down and put it uh, kind of in between the two food plots down below the barn here. Uh, it's, it'll be an awesome spot when it's raining or crappy, cold, windy weather. I can get in there and conceal my scent and stuff and it looks like the dog's ready to go. Like she's driving the dang tractor or something. But we're just going to take it down there and get it set where I want, where I want to put it. And I'll show you the inside. Uh, Jared from Mosher's Carpeting actually stopped and put carpeting in there for me. And it's, uh, Kaylee was joking, you know, that it was nicer than the carpet in her house. And it really is. It's really nice. So I'll show you the inside when we get it set where I want it. You're not going, girl. You can't go. Come on. Come here. Well, I think I got it pretty level. And I didn't even bring a level. I just had to dug, dig this uh, corner down a little bit and level that front up, but I think we got it. This is where I uh, planted that winter rye really, really heavy. There's a little bit of turnips and stuff coming up in here, but this is also wet, nothing grew, but you know, all this, this is all rye coming up and the deer just, hammer this stuff and this is a spot where a lot of the deer funnel out of this thick bedding the other food plots over there they funnel right through here and they'll work right up through this little gap right here into the main plot up there and for archery season this will be a perfect spot right here because I have easy access in and out I'll be able to park the Honda or the e-bike you know right over there at the corner of the my corn screen and just come right in through the edge of the food plot and sneak right up in and out of here. It'll be super easy access. Normally have a wind out of the southwest, which is going to be blowing my scent right that way. This will be this will be a a fun spot to hunt. And obviously, the nicest thing about this one right here is it's super easy. It's mobile. You know, I can at the flip of a switch, bring the tractor down with the forks, pick it up, take it wherever I want. And I plan on actually putting this over the corn plot in the old garden eventually. When I, uh, probably a week into the archery season, I'll take and brush hog some of that and set this up over it. Get a good mock scrape going hard on the edge of that corn plot and uh, go from there. But this will be a fun spot for now. It'll be mobile, I'll show you kind of what we got in there. I made the platform out of a couple pallets. And uh, the only thing I really had to buy were these brackets and the treated uh, lumber, the four by fours. Uh, these are only five feet. So I got two by four by tens, 
cut them right in half. So I'm just, you know, five feet off the ground, but I want it to be kind of low so it didn't have the risk of blowing over. I don't have to attach this. I don't think it'll blow over. And then I took and sealed uh, this platform right to this platform that I had made with uh, uh, epoxy stuff in there and then painted over everything and there were some cracks in the plexiglass I fixed. So it's certainly isn't anything too fancy, but here's the back. And I put this in here just to make sure that uh, I didn't, you know, when the tractor, I put the forks on it, that it's not bouncing up against the tractor uh, forks. This kind of holds the blind away from it and it's kind of nice for a handle too. That just pops in and out of there like that. I sealed this door too. I got this sealant off of Amazon and put that around the outer edges there. Well, my chair is right in the way here. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna hate on me about my lazy boy chair in here, but that was really a smoking deal on Amazon, I thought at first. Uh, on Amazon, they have the deals of the day and you can go in there and see like these crazy deals. And I saw that chair on there and it was originally like $200 and they had it listed on there for like 48 bucks. I'm like, holy crap, what a deal. So I purchased, you know, hit the buy button and uh, you know, like a day later, Kaylee's like, what'd you get the, the lazy boy chair for? And I'm like, oh, cause it was a great deal. And uh, she's like, yeah, you know, the pan 80 bucks for shipping is a great deal. And I'm like, go, oh. didn't check that. So it really wasn't as good a deal as I was thinking. You gotta, you gotta check that. You, you know, if, if it's not prime, they're gonna pound you for shipping. So anyways, the chair came and this is where it found home. This is the carpet Jared did for me. It's actually got padding on the bottom of it. He put padding in and then put this carpet in. Super quiet, which is what I like. It actually, surprisingly, absorbs a lot of the noise that, you know, before when you're in here with no carpet, it was really kind of echoey. With that carpet in the bottom now, it's not not echoey at all. It's pretty amazing what a, what a difference that made. This blind just connected together uh and you bolted each side together and then i took and put caulking in the middle uh those cracks so it's it's fully sealed and then i'll show you how easy these windows open you just pop this to the side right down so there's the view out of the window A lot of the movement, like I said, is going to come from over here and work their way across up into the main plot over here. But like I said, this is just temp temporary. This is something that I'm going to be able to uh, be really mobile with and move around. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to have to trim some of this bush right here so, so I can see the other. I want to be able to see that other corner of that plot. But this is really just for archery hunting. Once rifle season comes, obviously, I'm going to move this out of here and do all the hunting from the stump four up there where I can get in and out on scathe. So this is pretty sweet. If you guys were wondering, this chair does recline. Just like that. Got it rough. A lot of you guys will be like, that's not hunting. You're absolutely right, it's not. This is living. That's what I tell people that, you know, just can't stand the fact that I sit in heated shanties and kill big bucks. They're like, that's not hunting. You're right, it's not. This is living. I mean, it doesn't get any better. There's literally no other place I'd wanna be other than inside a warm, cozy shanty hunting big deer. Sorry. Go sit out in the rain and get wet and cold and shiver and, do your thing, have fun. I'm gonna have fun in here, shooting the National Geographic with my AX700, killing big bucks.
Until next time, take it easy, everybody.